We had a bunch of our favorites, but we are hungry and we're ready to uh, eat and drink some more. So I, you saw on our Instagram, um, I did end up finding my Muses shirt. I'll have to have one of the kids film me from behind so you can see it's almost like a world tour like concert tee, super soft. But I only found it in Port of Entry. I looked everywhere else and nobody else had one. So and since I've walked in, I've gotten two compliments on it, which Mike loves so much. <laughs> this festival does have the Each of the Beat concert series and it starts tomorrow. So we will be here for that one. There's actually some pretty decent lineups. Let me know who you see, who you'd want to see. So I'm going to have to insert a picture of what this is supposed to look like side by side with what they actually gave me. And I will have to say this is the saddest year of presentation of what this actually looks like. But so we're on our way over to the Brew Odyssey so we can sit down in some air conditioning. So the corned beef actually counts for the meal no fromage montage. So let's try them out. You didn't even get any of the meat. You don't get no meat. Okay, even though that was really sad looking, the steak on it is really good. The chimichurri sauce is really good. I just wish it actually looked like what it looked like in the picture. And it has looked like that in the past, so I'm not sure if I just got a one off, but at least the flavor is still good. So. Mike got the beer flight. There we go. We have these cute little signs all over here. <laughs> In case you didn't know how to do it. The sand wing. Hmm. Interesting. <laughs> Okay, to be fair, the only thing we got in there was what we brought over from Flavors of Fire and then Mike's beer. <laughs> so, yeah, I would say this year, with the menu the way it is, with what we got, skip Flavors from Fire. Um, but yeah, the brewing in the Odyssey with the Muppets. Those wings are way better than the spicy ones. <laughs> what spicy ones? One from last year. Do we have spicy ones last year? Yep. Oh, I don't remember that. Mm -hmm. Maybe because your definition of spice and my definition of spice are two different things. It's not. <laughs> it is. No. I like a spice. Yeah, I'm gonna have the barbecue fries. Oh, look how cute this is. I was waiting, I was anticipating waiting for Kenya for maybe tomorrow. But when I walked past it, it smelled so good. So I was like, okay, I'm gonna stop. So they actually have like a coffee barbecued beef, but they have a peri-peri shrimp that is what I'm getting with like a citrus infused um, couscous. So it sounds delicious and light. But here's the dish I picked up from Kenya. Very excited. They didn't, we're out of forks though. So I gotta get one. This is very good. It has just a little bit of spice, but it's delicious. Forgot to show you, Noah's actually trying this. That's a little bit of spice, so what do you think? Ready? Pretty mild. Do you like it though? Yeah. Okay. I'm a spice too. You can have more if you'd like. We are in Germany as well. What did Daddy order from Germany? We got the um schnickendoodling. <laughs> <laughs> and hopefully a beverage for me. Not an animal. That's the hard cheese and get a little bit of that. That's what's left. This is always a solid dish. 
And it's a part of the e Emile Fromage montage. But Mike got me the, what is it, Schaffenhofer prickly pear hemp bison, which last year they had a cherry one, if I'm not mistaken. And it tasted like cough syrup. It was not good. But this actually is really good. And it's very light. That one's always good. Right? Are you ready to walk, people? They actually have this. I don't know. Before I thought they used to have the crystal, like uh, Cinderella's castle, but now they have this. That's so cool. Yeah, if anybody's looking for a Christmas present idea for me, I'm a $80,000 spaceship Earth, or you could, you know, 1,200 and with the fountain out front, I'll take either one. <laughs> Not picky. <laughs> the egg first. So that was the beef wagyu boom, over steamed rice, spicy roll, and this is the something passion cocktail. Cheers. Kind of tastes just like a mimosa. A little bit. What's the sauce? That is probably going to be a spicy oh. sauce. <laughs> That breeze smells good. Guys, so we're gonna. <laughs> we got the wobbliest table. <laughs> I'll hold this down. Are you gonna hold it? Okay. <laughs> Sorry, that was a picture of my chin. Not attractive. <laughs> so, Noah did not like this. He said it was too spicy for him. Oh my god, no. <laughs> How is that? That's like right up your alley, buddy. What is it? Beef and rice. So after the Japan booth, we went to the Japan store, Mitsukoshi, and Noah got his regular burger treats. Aaron actually found a One Piece shirt too, so that I guess is very rare. So maybe if he puts it on, I'll take his picture and insert it here because he already ran off. <laughs> I will have to say too, something I noticed all day being around Epcot is they definitely have maintenance um, or custodial, I guess, out everywhere. So I've seen almost, there's been more than once I've gone to a garbage can and throw something away and somebody's already taking the garbage out, replacing it, wiping tables down, cleaning it. So um, I do appreciate that. We were able to snag a lightning lane for Remy Ratatouille adventure, so we're heading back there right now. We need some air conditioning. Even though the sun's down, there's a little bit of a breeze, it's hot. The um, France line is not so bad this evening, but we are gonna save some things for tomorrow. I have food, I have food, no Stop. <laughs> <laughs> they even hit you. We're gonna save some booze for tomorrow. <laughs> I didn't see that this morning. They have a hat too. The hat's not on here. Oh. Yeah, I didn't see this either this morning. So you have a little salt and pepper shaker. Oh my gosh, that's adorable. It's like a little hamburger. They're coasters. And that's so cute. If you didn't know, if you didn't catch it like at Creations, um, there's uh, little buildings throughout, like little pop-up shops, like what back, was back there, that have festival merchandise too. They all don't have everything, but if there was something you missed or something, if you didn't have your size, definitely check those out too. We'll also probably save Ireland, Belgium, maybe for tomorrow. Oh, and Australia too. <laughs> we'll save that for tomorrow. I guess there was more than I thought that we skipped over. They have magnets. That's Dye so cute. Oh look, they have little, they have all this stuff. Ornaments. I missed all this this morning. That's what happens when it's so crazy in here. It's like, you miss over stuff. I did forget to show you this too. I thought this was super cute. This is their Dooney and Burke. Oop, I almost just knocked them all over. Isn't that pretty? What does this one run you? What's the pricing? 300 bucks. 
but I mean, that is super cute. Today was a successful day at Food and Wine for the opening day, or as Mike says, it's Coronation Day. <laughs> we, uh, <laughs> you're too big to carry. We tried a bunch of food at booths, showed you all the merchandise. We actually got to write Remy tonight. We wrote Guardians this morning. Um, we just had a fun first day. So thanks so much for following along. Make sure to like and subscribe. And let me know if you guys plan on attending Food and Wine this year. And we'll see you next time. Go look at your Bye.